is running a brothel downstairs from his family home, where he lives with his wife, Sarah, an ex-prostitute from his brothel, and his daughter, Rifkla, who he is trying to raise as a pure virgin Jewish daughter. To ensure her chastity in the play, this man pays a fortune to have a Torah inscribed and placed in his daughter's bedroom. He then proceeds to buy her an engagement to a rabbi's son. And he instructs his wife to keep his daughter away from the business downstairs as one would keep the kosher from the turf, keep the two worlds apart. <laughs> Only hitches, his daughter falls in love with one of the prostitutes downstairs. In that sense, the play, even though it is very specifically concerned with religious matters in this family, is also very much the type of play that people in many different countries were writing at that time. And by that I mean uh, the, 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 the kind of play that deals, as I say, with the, these very fundamental human emotions, but, uh, and often with subjects that people had not dared to talk about before. So we spend a lot of time talking about and trying to imagine what it was like not to know what was coming, you know, and, and trying to imagine the hopes and the dreams, and you can just feel them in that space. And, uh, and, and there's a real, it's a, quite a thing to try to perform from that place of innocence when you don't really have it. So that's what I think helped like in the, the deepest way that the exhibit was moving to me. It's a deceptively simple play that um, requires, I think, a lot of passion and a lot of dedication to pull it off. And we've actually now had, this is our third production. So that's, that's been a remarkable We were day. in the trenches today making changes still. <laughs> when, when Rebecca takes the script away, that's when we stop the rewrites. <laughs>